Now I would like to hand over to IAIA Secretary General Jonathan Dixon, who will provide some concluding remarks. Thank you and goodbye. Well, great. Uh, and thank you, Roman, for, for moderating an excellent panel on the ICS. Um, and to Vicky for your very final task uh, uh, with the IIS. Um, and uh, certainly look forward to next year, this time in Cape Town, to the adoption of the ICS. And can you imagine the parties we'll be having in Cape Town? <laughs> <laughs> so that's good. Um, some good South African wine to accompany that. Um, so I won't speak for long. I know it's been a long few days and for some a long week, uh, but I hope uh, you agree that it's been uh, a fantastic two days of discussions, very engaging. Um, we've had a record-breaking turnout, so over 400 participants from over 100 jurisdictions. So that's pretty much as global as you can get, I think. Um, and I was also delighted by some of the innovations we were able to bring to our conference this week, uh, and really the excellent high quality speakers that we've had. And of course, it was especially an honor uh, to have His Excellency, the Prime Minister of Japan join us, uh, and the Minister of Finance. Uh, and, um, you know, I think to reflect, uh, I think their attendance really is uh, a recognition of the importance of the role that the insurance sector is going to have to play in confronting uh, today's societal challenges. Uh, and the significance of the role of the IIS in addressing this. And the significance of forums like this that can bring us together collectively to dialogue uh, on these issues. Um, so I do think it's powerful to reflect on the message from Prime Minister Kishida, uh, which to me was essentially that tackling social challenges uh, and generating sustainable growth requires us to unlock the fundamental strengths of insurance. Secondly, that the role of insurance in addressing these various social challenges will, will very likely continue to grow. And that thirdly, and importantly, in order for insurance to fully perform its role in addressing these challenges, it's critical that insurers maintain their financial soundness, their sophisticated governance and risk management, uh, and maintain the trust of customers. Uh, all of the issues that we've been talking about and supervision is key. But it's also becoming increasingly important that public and private sectors take action collaboratively to solve these societal challenges, including climate change and natural disasters, which I hope you get a sense is really is, in a, in a way, the new agenda uh, that we're tackling. Um, and in order to address these globally common challenges, supervisors around the world will need to find global solutions in a collective and collaborative way, which, which is exactly what we are all here for as the IAS and what we've all been focused on. So to have, I think, the endorsement of what we are setting out on from such a senior leader um, uh, and endorsement of the shifting priorities uh, of the IAS is much appreciated. Uh, and we truly also appreciate the leadership of our new executive committee chair, uh, Shigeru Ariyazumi, from the uh, Financial Services Agency of Japan, uh, and look forward to the support 
that I know Japan will be able to provide to this new agenda and these new priorities. So turning to the last few days, I hope um, you'll all recognize the steps that we've taken to increase engagement uh, and dialogue at our annual conference, including the round tables uh, in response to your feedback. Uh, I really would like to, to thank the team for these innovations. And always, as always, we aim to improve these events, so ongoing feedback is good. Uh, and here's the way you can do it uh, through this QR code. Uh, and if you do it hot off the press uh, today, that would be great. Uh, and so that's, that's it really beyond, uh, obviously, the thank yous um, and to the, all of those who've made this week's meetings and conference possible and for them to run so smoothly. So, of course, I'd like to, to thank Shigeru, uh, but also his team, uh, uh, in particular Jun Kusumoto, but the whole of the rest of the team for their excellent planning uh, and support. Uh, we heard hospitality and uh, execution, I think, really came together uh, this week. Um, but also to the team at the Secretariat, I have to mention Joe, Melanie, Malou, uh, but really this was a collective effort. So to the whole team, uh, thank you for the outstanding foundation for these discussions. And that's it from me. Um, beyond leaving you with a video from our next hosts, uh, from, of course, my home country and the Rugby World Cup champions, uh, <coughs> uh, from South Africa's Prudential Authority uh, and the Financial Sector Conduct Authority, who will be jointly welcoming us, welcoming us warmly in beautiful Cape Town for the IIS annual conference in December 2024. Thank you, goodbye, uh, arigato, sayonara, and uh, safe journey home. Thank you. <laughs>